Hello everybody, welcome to the Vectorize. My name is Jonathan and here today I want to talk with you about how you can export a project using Affinity Designer to Adobe Illustrator. All right. So this is a very common question because if you are a beginner, you know, to use the Affinity Designer, perhaps you're gonna have this problem about, hey, I need to send my project to my client and he uses Adobe Illustrator and how can I solve that problem? So watch this video until the end that I'm gonna explain everything to you. So the question is, if you try to export this project, it's gonna be in vector. If you open on a Illustrator, it's gonna work well. Are you, you know, is your client gonna be able to use this properly on his project? The question is no. Why? Because Affinity, in that case, there is no functionality to export in Adobe Illustrator, but I see that it is not a fault by, you know, Affinity, no. It's because Adobe Illustrator is a bit not a bit, but it is very strict to open source like Adobe Photoshop is. You can export here as Adobe Photoshop without no, no problem at all. But that case for Adobe Illustrator, we don't have this option. To solve that problem, of course, we need to export as PDF or SVG. I don't recommend at all to use EPS as vector you know, file. No, use PDF or SVG. That case, you can export as SVG. But in case that you want to export this product as SVG, here's the thing that you need to avoid. Okay, why? Because you're gonna have a problem like raster. You're gonna have a project open it on a Illustrator as raster. And I'll just show you an example about that. If I open here uh, this project and then just bring here this layer in SVG exported over here, opening on a Illustrator, you're gonna have this result. Okay, I'm gonna open here the layer and then we have a, lot, a couple of layers to open and then until here. So you're gonna have the the path, which is the clipping that AWS recognizes as, as a path, right? Normal path, curve, good. But somehow other layers become, you know, very messy. Remember about the vector brushes? This is the vector brushes. But I just want to let you know that this is not a fault of Affinity, all right? You know, because you, perhaps you are wondering why I'm using Vector Brush, but here on Adobe Studio is not working. Yeah, this doesn't work at, at all also on Adobe Studio if you use the, the brushes and try to import on Adobe Studio. It's gonna be a raster as well. Okay, this is how it works. But hopefully some things have kept in Vector if you open here. So to avoid this problem, it is this. You need to avoid to use at all filters, layer effects, avoid clipping, avoid vector brushes, mask and paintings. You need to keep your product 100% in vector. Why I'm telling you this? Because I have my friend experience with that. <laughs> so here I have this project that I did 100% in vector. All right. And this was a package that I did. And then I need to keep this as vector to be used as well for Adobe Illustrator files. Uh, to make this happen, of course, I need to export each element as SVG. So if I hit here, export persona, I'm gonna see a lot of layers in SVG. If I open here, everything in SVG for export, all right? And if you are considering as well to export in SVG, you need to make sure to not use, let's say, transparency tool. Let's say we do have here this example, let me show you. This is the hair in shape, 100% vector, all right? You can use the gradient, no worries at all. It's gonna be exported correctly to Adobe Illustrator. We can see this by practicing. But if you try to use the transparency tool, it's gonna make this as a clipping in Adobe Illustrator and can be rasterized, which is not very cool for us that want to keep everything 100% in vector, okay? So try to avoid the transparency tool. If you want to make things in transparency, do this instead, okay? Do this because I think it's, it's gonna be the first time that you guys will see this on the internet here. So leave the like, it's gonna support this channel a lot. Here in the opacity, you can li uh, leave right here in this opacity. And I'm going to export this curve, okay, the hair. Now I'm gonna open this using Adobe Illustrator. Now I'm gonna open these layers, as you guys can see. We got this group. Look, the gradient is still working, which is very good, all right? So if you try now to use the transparency tool instead, which is this one on the hair, all right? I'm using transparency tool and then export this as SVG again. Let me just go here. Honestly, I hate this clipping path that this here works. It doesn't work at all for me. Uh, as you guys can see, the image, which is, you know, the fill has become rasterized. It's an image, all right? It's not a vector property. So we got this clipping path, which is just 
erase the corners of our uh, raster image, which is not something that we want. Okay. So my suggestion is avoid to transparency. Ah, let me add here transparency tool. So the thing is, try always to keep everything 100% vector. Do not add anything. <laughs> all right, because it's gonna make it bad. But like I said, it's not a problem of affinity. In that case is just that the files, the SVG files doesn't recognize this as a pure vector. And here guys, let me show you the bitmap versus vector, all right? So if you have plans, all right, I want to export a big project to my clients. So make sure to export in PSD. PSD is the best, best solution. And of course, if you try to use a lot of effects, make sure, let me, let me show you an example, a good example. Remember about this project? You can do this. Click here in export persona and then open the, the main uh, source, create a slice, and then make sure to set this as SVG if you want to export this SVG in clean vector. But if you are doing a lot of things with effects like I'm doing right now, you can use this as PSD preserve edit editability, okay, this one. Click here, give a name like uh, project one. There we go, and hit here, and then you can export this as PSD. And then, uh, as export as PSD, you can open on Adobe Studio. Let's try, let's try and see if it's gonna work. And uh, it's saying that, <laughs> oh, look at this, I'm exporting PSD and it's telling me convert layers to objects or flatten layers to a single image. No, we, we don't want that, okay? Click here. I show preview, all right, is it? Rendering, and there we go. We got this result, but remember that it is not editable, okay? So if you open a PSD file on Adobe Illustrator, it's not gonna recognize as a vector thing, okay? That's what I was trying to tell you guys. I don't know why Adobe still keep this in a very old style. I'll look here, the, the layers. Uh, it's everything rasterized. Instead, if we open the same file in PSD on Affinity Designer, let me, let me try here, it's gonna keep this in vector, which is a very shame of Adobe, very shame, you know, because I'm, I'm opening right now a PSD file on Affinity Designer, and then I, I've opened it on Adobe Studio, and Adobe Studio hasn't recognized this as a good to work with. That's why I'm I'm telling you this. Affinity is the future. I'm not telling you because I'm getting exposed right there. No, I sponsor my work, you know, here by helping people with, with the on the Vectorize Club. So I want to take everybody that watched this until the end. <laughs> so leave the like here if you if you enjoy this kind of content. Leave the, your questions, okay? And I hope that it helped you a lot with these questions, okay? I want to thank you so much for uh, you know stay here and take care. Bye bye. See you. Thank you.